Event Mode, Custom, Dolly Track. Continue, Dolly Track. Better work this time, mate. Yeah, so part of the joggle will be eight days, 100 miles a day is what I'm aiming for. I'm going to start John O'Groats obviously on the Tuesday morning and then I'm just going to plough ahead and see how far we take. Uh, 100 miles is the minimum. Most days are going to be about 110, 108, 120, depending on whereabouts it is. But Scotland's certainly going to be the, uh, the biggest brunt of it. Once I get to Carlisle, it's a different ball game. We'll see. Uh, I'm not expecting uh, too many surprises. I've done the Scotland jog all bit before and it's very, very pretty. As long as it doesn't rain, we should be absolutely fine. And I'm looking forward to it, absolutely. Other than that though, uh, Carlisle all the way through to, uh, well, Bristol <laughs> and the bridge. Uh, that one's going to be fun. Across the lakes, of course, Shap, big highlight. Always a uh, Always a surprise going over Shap because uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a landmark really and the last time I went there I was, I knew it was going to be tough but I didn't know how tough it was going to be and when I did do it in 2011 on Shap it was uh, absolutely chucking it down with rain. Very slippery and uh, a lot of weight on the bike as well so uh, the big difference this time is I'm going to be using disc brakes rather than rim brakes so uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with that. Moving downwards, obviously, then we're going to go into the built-up areas, uh, Liverpool, and then obviously round, yeah, Chester, stuff like that, I think it is. So, yeah, it should be really, really, really good fun, I think, the route I've chosen. I'll put the uh, segments on the screen now. So this is going to be day one. And just, just to mind you as well, it's just a benchmark, just an idea of roughly what it will look like. Day two will be another 100 and bit. Again, similar thing. Day three takes us to, uh, I think, without looking at the screen, just north of Glasgow. And day four takes me all the way through past, um, is it Lockerbie? And then on to Carlisle, into England, basically. Uh, day five and day six, obviously all the way down across Cumbria and, uh, yeah, skimming the side of Wales. And then obviously we've got uh, day seven and eight, which is the, uh, Never to be undisputed, the hardest part of the whole ride, I think. And uh, yeah, it is a long, long way when you turn right. And uh, some of them roads down there are absolutely treacherous. Should be good fun though. So I'm aiming for eight days. I really am not too bothered how long it takes me because it will be damn well fun all the way around. And I'm extremely excited about it as well to go. So do join me. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to keep up to date. I'm gonna aim for uh, videos every other day or every day if I can squeeze it. It all depends on uh, on the terrain and the weather as well. But uh, yeah, it should be really, really good fun. All right, I'm just gonna pull you over here, my friend, because we've got ourselves a little bit of a cyclist. Here we go, if we, uh, if we go over here, then matey boy won't crash into me. So uh, yeah. So yeah, that'll be really, really good fun. I hope. Currently uh, tonight, I'm on the uh, on the cycle, well, route one, I think this no. I'm on the cycle network at the moment. Route number on the screen now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, got the Hover X1 out. I've just recalibrated this actually, so uh, it should be good fun. I don't know if this is going to actually pick it up on audio or not, but uh, it is bobbing around like a little billy. Let's just make sure there's no one behind me or else uh, that'll be it. Right, let's. Uh, I don't want to go too high because uh, there's plenty of trees on this uh, on this cycle network, and it has been raining today, so it's a little bit damp. We've got some more cyclists coming now. There we go. If I, uh, 
If I just stop there, I'll keep to the left, then we've got another cyclist coming now. Hopefully it won't go too far. Oh yeah, there we go. See, it actually works all right. It's like trying to steer two things at once, riding the bike and flying the drone. <laughs> oh, not too high am I? Doing really well though. Got some runners coming up shortly and a bridge <laughs> so this is going to be uh, fun i don't know how the drone is going to take this but uh, we'll figure it out there we go Should we give it some more, day? There can't be much battery life on here. It's doing an exceptional job though, isn't it? So part of the video will be the drone and uh, probably the little Insta 360 Go 2 I've got here. I can stick it on the mic there, get the drone there. I can probably do some quick videos per day and hopefully upload this relatively easily as well. So yeah, hopefully this comes out really nice. This will be a bit of a test tonight on the, uh, the warm-ups. I'm using these uh, as a bit more of like a practice run before I actually do it. I don't want to really be fussing around and worrying too much about videoing and obviously editing as well when I'm actually on the juggle. But yeah, let's see if this looks any good. Right, I'm going to wrap this up now. So uh, we're going to stop there, Mr. Drone. We'll get the X1 over. It should come back to me any second. There you go, look. Right, anyway, thank you very much for viewing today. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you like what you see, please do drop me a like. Hit me a comment underneath. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.